welcome my dear students in the last class we have learned about uh, this uh, some of our uh, built-in functions built-in string handling functions so now you have to give more attention on this this is a very very essential topic where uh, you are having uh, various kinds of a question will be asked on these uh, string handling functions suppose if you are using this uh, string handling functions you have to import uh, you have to include string dot h header file in your program okay string dot h header file is compulsory you have to suppose to include in your program now already in the last class we have explained about the string length by using this function you can find the length of the string string lower function converts the string into lower case string upper function converts the string into upper case string cat concatenation function it appends one string at the end of another it appends it joins one string at the end of another string okay just here copy it copies the string into another okay it copies one string into another and next one is the string compare it compares two strings it compares two strings and next one is um, that's it so that much is enough and the rest you we will skip now we will learn about this string cat function string cat means string cat stands for string concatenation function what is the meaning of strcat string concatenation okay concatenation right so the strcat function uh, joins two string together it uh, what is the main role of uh, this uh, strcat function it joins uh, two strings so then what is its uh, syntax here the general form is given this is the syntax of your this is the syntax of your uh, string concatenation function okay so if you observe here uh, we have uh, yes now yes so this is the string concatenation function by using this function string 1 comma string 2 at the end of string 1 you are adding string 2 uh, string okay at the end of string 1 you are adding string 2 so for example smc is a string 1 uh, string 2 is dc so now what is the result it will be stored in string 1 smc bc got it after performing this strcat function at the end of a string 1 you are adding string 2 got it so that is the thing we are doing here okay string 1 and string 2 are the character arrays please observe here it is a character arrays when the function strcat is executed string 2 is appended to the string 1 what exactly we told that let us example here in string 1 we are having smc in string 2 we are having bca so if you operate strcat function then in string 1 it will store smc bca Got it. So it is the same thing here. It is a suggesting string two is appended to string one. It does so by removing the null character at the end of string one and are placing string two from there. Okay. Let us see example. For example, character str 115 in the 15 length we are store. Very okay. What is the name of a variable? Str1. Character array variable, right? What is the value you have stored? What is the value you have initialized? Very in str c80, str2. Character str2 of 10, you are stored good, right? So, what is the string 1? Very, what is the string 2? Good. So, after performing str cat, str1, comma str2, you are giving at the end of a very, you are adding the good, okay? So, if you print str1, it will give the very good, and if you print the str2, it will give only the good, clear? So, by using this str function, str cat function, it is easy to join two string together okay so here we have used this sample program uh, sample program on strcat function okay strcat function and uh, how we will do the same program without using this built-in function okay so let me copy let me copy this program and i'm taking notepad this notepad i'm pasting right so Tell me what are the things we have to do. Okay. Ash include std io.h. Next ash include conio.h. Now you are doing string handling function, right? For that you have to include string.h. String.h. Next, your program should always start with main function. Now 
what you are exactly doing you just observe here after the void main function open curly brace now character str1 of 20 str2 of 20 two character array variable you have declared you are giving the clear screen after the clear screen you are displaying one output statement enter the first string you are using the scanf what is the drawback of a scanf while entering the value from the keyboard if you give the space it will terminate whatever the content present after the space got it yes that is very very important okay so i am displaying one more output statement printf enter the second string now you are reading the value from the keyboard by using scanf so you should be very cautious now we are processing str c8 is equal to str c str1 comma str2 i do not know what is the string i have entered right so let me display i'm afterwards i'm displaying the resultant string is percent less str1 okay so if i want to i'm copying the same content and i'm pasting here i'm displaying string 2 i'm displaying it is a string 1 i'm displaying now string 1 is equal and percent less okay here string 2 okay string 2 is okay so before processing this we have to print str1 we should have to know okay before processing this is a processing statement right so what is the purpose of uh, str cat to join two strings so before that processing let me print what is the string one okay so afterwards let me that's it okay so we are reading the character string uh, character array from uh, keyboard and store in str1 str1 size is 20 you can store 20 characters str2 20 characters you are uh, reading one more ring uh, one more string from the keyboard so that will be stored in str2 so before concatenation please observe here i will give before concatenation string one is okay after concatenation please observe let me give after concatenation string one is clear so if you processing this this is a command line right if you process at the end of a first string you are adding string two yes let me save it while saving you have to ensure that you have to suppose to save in right path so where we have to suppose to save in your c drive you have to ensure that is either turbo c3 or turbo c4 and you have to ensure it is a bin and you have to save i'm giving cat the cat is there strcat one dot c strcat means string concatenation right i'm pressing save right now uh, let me minimize let me close it and i'm minimizing minimizing let me open my editor this is my editor right i'm having my editor here right so i'm opening turbo c plus plus yes it has started here let click uh, start turbo c plus plus it is starting now yes open my file what is the name of the file strcat one dot c yes got it so pressing five f function key f5 it will show full screen now i am compiling and i am running alt f9 control f9 it is first asking please observe here i am giving smc space bc if i give the space what happen it will skip the bc right got it so you are not supposed to provide that spaces while using scan function okay that is why it is not accepting okay so once again let me run i am giving smc enter it will ask for the second string bca enter before concatenation string one what is the string one consist of smc after concatenation string one is smc bca string two is bca clear yes got it okay for example if you want to access uh, that with space if you want to access with the space now you have to use get us function instead of instead of scan okay get us of str1 clear yes now here also same thing i have placed that scanf in uh, right 
up to 20 characters you can read with the spaces compile it consists of an error undefined symbol str1 str1 right str1 yes save it compile alt f9 run it control f9 yes now it is asking smc space bca enter now it is asking for sherba space manchakai so come now just observe what it will happen so before concatenation it is smc bca after concatenation string 1 is smc space bca space of sherva space manchakar okay but in sherva string 2 it is storing as sherva manchakar is uh, observe uh, what is it sir 3 4 4 plus 3 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 actually 20 characters only but it is uh, showing everything okay so something has happened no problem so that is the thing it has happened okay yes suppose if you want to join two string without using this strcat function then you just see how it will be able to do okay let me copy this let me copy this program first and i will explain here itself only okay yes so if you want to program without using strcat function uh, without your strcat function if you want to join two strings then we have to follow this much of a code okay yes let uh, me give as include std dot h hash include tonio dot h and uh, void main okay and you are first declaring the variable character str1 of 10 str2 of 10 str3 of 10 you are declaring three character array variable and if you are taking int i j k l m n means compulsory you are using sum of a looping statement okay please make a note if you are using int i j k means you are use performing sum of a looping statement after the variable declaration you have to suppose to give clear screen function okay so i value is 0 j value is 0 k value is 0 m value is 0 now first you are displaying one output statement what is the output statement enter the first string you are reading the value from the keyboard right so if you are using the scanf you are not supposed to give space enter the second string you are entering the second string also here smc here bc okay please observe it here smc i have enter here it is a bc okay now i am writing this condition okay here while str1 of i in the zeroth location what is the value i have stored s s is not equal to null i am checking this condition this is a null okay what is this this is a null whether uh, a is not equal to null condition is true or false true it is nothing right a is something right a is not a nothing correct yes if it is correct then it will enter here str3 of j what is j value zero in the zeroth location what you are storing str1 of zero okay so for this you understand here here itself only okay i am writing here for your understanding purpose i am using the comment i am using the comment for your understanding purpose okay yes what is the str of zero location str of three str three of zero in str of three of zero what you are storing str of one of i value what is i value is observe here carefully when i is equal to zero right okay i is not equal to null condition is true in the i value what i what value i have entered in str1 please for your understanding purpose only str1 i have stored smc in str2 what i have to supposed to do okay uh, str2 also i have stored as bc please observe okay in str1 smc str2 bca i have stored now what we are exactly doing please observe carefully so in zeroth location s is there first location m is there second location c is there here str2 of zeroth location b is there str of 2 of 1 location c is there str of str2 of 2 location a is there right when i is 0 means str of 0 is equal to str1 of 0 what is the value of str1 of 0 that is yes i am going to be storing in str of 3 of 0 okay yes afterwards what you are doing i value will be increment 0 plus plus now i becomes 
i becomes 1 got it next j plus plus j becomes 1 got it afterwards where the control will go control will come here str of 1 what is the one value m correct m is not equal to null condition is true condition is true you are storing here right where you are storing str 3 of 1 location what you are storing str 1 of 1 location value what is the str 1 of 1 location value that is m correct equal to m you are storing clear and next i am explaining only this much of a part please understand this very carefully and this comment is only understanding part of this okay afterwards what you are doing i value increment already i value is 1 1 plus plus now i become 2 now j plus plus j is already 1 j becomes 2 okay j becomes 2 after that where the control will come control will come here right str1 of i what is the new value of i 2 what is the two location value c c is not equal to null condition is true or false condition is true condition is true it will enter here if it enters here str3 of 3 of 1 right str of 3 of 1 is equal to str sorry str3 of 2 i value is uh, j value is 2 right in second location what you are storing actually you are storing str1 of 2 right i value is 2 right yes str1 of 2 what is the value of uh, str1 of 2 location value that is c where you are storing c now in str of uh, str3 of 2 okay now i becomes i plus plus i becomes uh, i sorry i is equal to 3 and j plus plus j is also 2 plus plus 3 right so whenever it becomes an increment now it will come where is there any character here no then automatically it is null right here automatically it is null right nothing is there correct so str of 3 is value is null null is not equal to null condition is false correct it will skip null is not equal to null condition is false null is equal to null right null is not equal to null means condition false correct so hence this condition will be terminated control will terminate okay clear when it is i becomes a 3 j becomes 3 clear okay now this is a comment line only for your understanding purpose okay yes in str3 what you have stored please observe here according to this law what you have stored str3 str3 you are having smc got it this value has come okay now what i am doing i am writing the same once again while loop for str2 okay str2 and i am passing k value k value is 0 is not equal to uh, null right now already j has come some value what is the j value before that third location j value is 3 clear yes while terminating for out of the loop j value is 3 now here what i am doing str of 3 means for your understanding purpose only i am taking the comment okay now let us see str of 2 str 2 means what is the value we have entered for str 2 bc right so please observe here str of 2 is bc right right okay now j already value is 3 okay yes and k value is now 0 right str2 str2 0th location it consists of b b is not equal to null condition true or false true it is not equal to null correct yes condition is true if true where i am storing please observe here st or 3 of j what is the j value 3 so in the third location what you are doing what you are doing please observe don't get confused this is only for your understanding purpose okay in st or 3 of what is the value 3 is equal to str2 of k value what is the k value 0 so 0th location what is the value it exists b correct in str2 0th location b is exist right that will be stored in which location str3 of 3 location okay it will store b okay 
next what you are doing j value incrementing j is already 3 3 plus plus 4 right now k value you are incrementing k value is 0 0 plus plus now it become 1 after that where the control will go control will come here str2 of 1 now k value is 1 right in one location what is the value c c is not equal to null condition true it will come here got it so now what exactly we are doing right i am copying the same thing and i am pasting here now str3 of 4 value okay j value is 4 right so hence it will come here okay so j is equal to 4 str2 of one location k value is 1 then what you are storing what you are storing one location value in this location that means it is c you are going to be storing here okay next you are incrementing the j value now j becomes 4 plus plus 5 and k plus plus k is equal to 1 plus plus it is 2 right afterwards where the control will come control will come here str2 of 4 is not equal to null sorry str2 of 2 right str2 of 2 2 of 2 location what is the value a a is not equal to null condition true it will come here str str3 of 5 location right 5 location what you are storing str2 of 2 location value what is the str2 of 2 location value that is a a is going to be storing in str3 of 5 so now what is the string we have stored in str3 is that is equal to smc pca okay so at the end of this it has a store smc pca okay yes. this is for your understanding purpose okay don't get confused don't get confused so if you are not using the str cat function then it will become this much okay now j becomes increment now then j becomes a 6 k becomes a 3 we have a control will come here str2 of 3 is there any value after this is there any value 0 1 2 it is a space space is equal to null right space is not equal to null condition false if it is a false skips so next what i am actually doing str3 of j in that location i am storing null value which location in seventh lo uh, sixth location in sixth location i am storing null now I am displaying the resultant string that is str3. If I display the str3, it will print smcbc. Let me check whether it will work or not. Okay. I am saving. While saving, we have to ensure where we have to suppose to save in turbo c3 bin. Okay. In c drive, turbo c3 or turbo c4 is there. In that bin folder is there. Now in file name, we have to give uh, strcat. 2.c okay so if you are not using strcat function this much of a code you have to suppose to write got it and now let me minimize it and open editor turbo c plus plus editor after opening that let us open here and what is the name of the file strcat 2.c okay press the function key of 5 now compile it alt f9 assist of two warnings let us see m is assigned a value k is assigned a value that is never used k is used right uh, that is warning we can skip we don't need it okay here it is not worked because it is a comment is correct okay yes now let us yes, save it now compile it now one warning no problem warning you can avoid it is asking for first string i am entering smc second string bc so what is the result in sync smc bc so you can perform the joining of a two of uh, two string without using strcat function but you have to write this much of a code which one is very easy as you suggest either built-in function or your coded function built in function right strcat by using that uh, one simple line that uh, function automatically joins at the end of a second string so uh, end of a first string second string will be added got it so that is the usage of strcat function okay
yes so next we are moving to the string comparison function so this is also very very important one got it so i hope you have understand this concept right yes now let us come for the string comparison so the purpose of a string comparison strcmp function strcmp means a string comparison function this by using this string comparison function you can compare two strings you can compare two strings okay so after comparing the two strings we can find whether the two strings are equal or the first string is greater than the second string or the first string is less than the second string okay so the main purpose of strcmp function is to compare the two strings then what is its syntax here the syntax is given right this is the syntax by using this syntax uh, you are comparing two strings so here it is the return value is uh, data type is integer and strcmp is the function by using this function you are comparing string 1 with string 2 okay you are comparing string 1 with string 2 if the two strings are equal then it will returns 0 if two strings are equal then it will returns 0 if the first string is greater than second string then it will return positive integer if the first string is less than second string then it will return negative integer it means then how the comparison will possible okay for example let me take okay for example i am taking here understanding purpose here example is already exist but instead of that i am taking one more example okay uh, in string 1 i am storing a b c clear in string 2 in string 2 i am storing a b c right so whenever the string comparison is possible uh, it will take uh, ascii values what it uh, what does it takes it will takes ascii values okay as we are familiar with uh, uh, ascii value of capital a is 65 66 and 67 now this will compare with this value what is the ascii value of 90 uh, a small a it is 97 98 99 so it will compare like this if the first string uh, character with the uh, first character of first string with first character of second string is compares so while comparing it will check 65 equal to equal to 65 65 equal to equal to 97 no then it will automatically returns a negative value first string is less than right so whatever the difference difference is exist between 65 to 97 that difference value will be written that difference value will be written okay and rest it doesn't compares the rest thing and the rest it doesn't compares the rest thing okay so this is happening in string comparison function okay yes got it so how it compares based on ascii values okay now let us see simple example here one example is given please go through it in str1 uh, the size is 100 i have initialized pqr in another str character array variable string variable i am storing uh, xyz now i am taking one integer variable a by a i am pro processing now what is the processing strcmp str1 comma str2 as we know pqr xyz it compares pqr with xyz p with x so as obviously if it is a small x then it is 120 right 120 p value is less than it will automatically returns negative difference so if a greater than 0 if a greater than 0 whether a is greater than 0 no because it is negative difference right it gives the negative difference because p is comparing with the x but p value is less than x hence it will give minus value so it will skip this statement and it will comes here string 1 is pqr is smaller than string 2 correct yes likewise it will execute for example if you do this uh, stair 1 as xyz here and pqr here then it will return string 1 is larger than string 2 okay if you did x y z and your string is to or also x y z then obviously it will returns both strings are equal correct yes so let us see let us see uh, the same program here it consists how we can perform by using string comparison function without a string comparison function how can we compare the two strings is uh, here the program is there let me copy and export okay 
yes. let me copy and take a new file and paste it and now we have to write uh, this is a string comparison function right string comparison function sample program always better what program you are doing right and you have to include hash include std io dot h hash include conio dot h and hash include string dot h and next you can ask wide main function you have to write now you are declaring two character array variables two character array variables of a size 10 comma 10 you can only store 10 10 characters if you want to store more than you can give 100 100 okay yes now you are writing one clear screen after the variable declaration you have to write clear screen you are writing one output statement enter first string so if you are using scanf statement means you are not supposed to give spaces enter second string whatever the value you are reading from the keyboard it will store in str2 while giving that you are not supposed to give blank spaces okay now i am writing one condition if within if you are writing string comparison function within if block within if block you are writing strcmp function okay what is the strcmp function you are writing please observe here str1 comma str2 i do not know in str1 i have enter smc here i have enter bca whether smc bca is uh, it compares here whatever the comparison has done it gets some value right smc bca so automatically first string is greater than second string right so it will give some positive value that positive value equal to equal to zero no so if it is not equal to zero it will skip this line automatically control comes to else block and it will print strings are not same strings are not same got it okay let me save it first and i'm ensuring that i'm storing in my folder my directory my folder okay turbo c3 turbo c3 bin and here strcmp function right strcmp 1.c okay yes and i am um, right i am opening my editor already opened alt enter and now opening f3 what is our program name strcmp 1.c yes so this is our program function key f5 already i have explained this program now let me compile and now run it so whenever i am entering smc space bca so it gives the strings are not same so once again i am running this i am giving in the first string as smc in second string also smc so it print strings are same got it yes likewise character by character it will compares and checks okay but the difference is only return first difference value only please make a note okay yes so that is your program and uh, if you want to run this program also let us see what it will perform let me copy this okay uh, i'm taking this is another program right okay uh, let me paste uh, from here onwards till to here let me paste okay let me modify with save as strcmp2 dot c here we are storing in the first string pqr in the second string it is xyz okay only for your understanding purpose mta clr ssr yes here your processing a is equal to strcmp you are comparing two string whatever the value you are getting the comparison value will be stored here and will come here right string is larger okay string one is larger string one is smaller just we are displaying that's it okay and else both strings are equal both strings are equal we are performing that and uh, get sh as used right okay 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 here is also okay here is also okay right okay 
now save it once again and come your editor alt enter and open your file what is the name of a file strcmp 2.c yes now compare uh, come already we have explained this program let me compile and run so it is asking str1 is smaller how it is saying as str1 is small because p value is less than xyz suppose if i did uh, pqr value as xyz xyz now let me check save it compile and run both strings are equal in both strings it is having xyz xyz right if i made as a xyz and pqr here then what it will give p q r so let me save it and compile it and run it it will give string one is larger got it so likewise uh, this uh, string comparison function will execute so in the last example we have shown how to come uh, how it will compare okay by using this string comparison function if you are not using string comparison function then how this program will execute uh, is here let me explain this program okay let me copy first and take the new file this program is without using string comparison function right so write hash include include if you don't use this uh, um, string comparison function then at that time you have to write this much of code okay for new dot h okay and now every program starts from void main function void main function now you are declaring the variable regarding to your program str1 str2 int and so on so string 1 string 2 of a character array variable you have declared here the normal variable is declared here flag we are taking one variable now we are writing one output statement enter the first string you have to enter from the keyboard so we are writing the scanf enter the second string uh, you are writing the output and we have to enter from the keyboard so you are writing scan of a percent ls str2 now we have to compare that two string right yes first what is the condition i am writing you just make a note here while str1 of i for example here i have enter abc please observe here also here i am entering abc same abc okay str zeroth location what is the i value zero right in zeroth location str of str1 of zero means a right okay a str2 of 0 means a here is also a right a is not equal to null a is not equal to null here it is a logical r what is the logical r how the logical r will execute if one of the condition is true also it will execute right one of the condition is a false if both the conditions are false then it uh, falls otherwise it will return it true clear yes till to that logic it will execute now it enters in str1 of 0th location it consists of a str2 of 0th location it consists of a so a is not equal to null a is not equal to null condition is true it will enter the block in block it consists of once again one more if condition str1 of 0 is equal to equal to str of 2 of 0 right str1 of 0th location it consists of a and str2 of 0th location it consists of a whether 0 equal to equal to 0 condition is true if the condition is true then you are setting the flag value is 0 and i value is incrementing so if i value is incrementing 0 plus plus 1 so automatically control will come it will skip else block it will skip else block and it will come here right once again it will come here now i value is 1 in the 1 str1 one of 1 location it consists of a b and str2 of 1 location it consists of b right so b is not equal to null condition is true it will once again enter now it is checking str1 one of 1 str1 one of 1 location value is b is str2 of 1 location str2 location is also b b equal to equal to b condition true if the condition is true what you are setting flag value is 0 and you are incrementing i value now i becomes 1 plus plus 2 so it will skip else block and comes here once again it will come here now i value is 2 2 uh, str of 2 location it consists of c c is not equal to null right it is not as uh, nothing right it is a something right so condition is true str2 of 2 str2 of 2 means c and it is also not equal to null condition true and now it will come here str1 of 2 str1 of 2 location what is the value it is a c 
एस टी आर टू ऑफ टू लोकेशन वैल्यू वॉट इज अ वैल्यू इट इज ऑल्सो सी करेक्ट सो सी इक्वल टू इक्वल टू सी कंडीशन ट्रू इफ द कंडीशन इज ट्रू फ्लैग वैल्यू इज सेट एज जीरो एंड आई वैल्यू इज इंक्रीमेंट नाउ टू प्लस प्लस इज थ्री इट विल स्कीप दिस एल्स ब्लॉक दिस विल स्कीप एल्स ब्लॉक एंड वंस अगेन कम्स हियर एस टी आर ऑफ थ्री इज नॉट इक्वल टू नल वेदर एस टी आर ऑफ थ्री इज एक्सिस्ट नो इट इज ब्लैंक स्पेस राइट ब्लैंक स्पेस इज नॉट इक्वल टू नल कंडीशन फॉल्स ब्लैंक स्पेस इज इज नॉट इक्वल टू नल फॉल्स सो फॉल्स मीन्स इट विल स्कीप दिस ब्लॉक okay this block is hands here it will skip here and it will come here what is the flag value it is zero if a flag equal to equal to zero then what you are printing strings are same otherwise strings are not same so without using str cmp function you have to write this much of a code okay now let me save it and i am ensuring that i am storing in write directory okay it is turbo c3 bin it is str cmp function str cmp3 dot c okay yes i am minimizing and opening my editor alt enter and opening and str cmp uh, 3 dot c program right so this is a program without using str cmp function okay now compare it uh, compile it run it now it is asking for abc i am entering the second string also abc the two strings are equal got it yes the two strings are equal Okay, the strings are same. I'm compiling once again. SMC BCA. Whether SMC BCA is equal? No. So S is greater than right. S strings are not same. Likewise, you are getting your output. But this program is uh, uh, very uh, sorry. These uh, functions are very very important. Don't uh, take this is only for your understanding purpose. Okay, program without using strcmp function, program without using strcmp function is uh, only for your understanding purpose. But these programs are very very important, and these programs are very very important strcmp programs. Okay, but program without strcmp function is only for your understanding the logic, only understanding the logic. So likewise, this strcmp function will evaluate. hope you understand this concept and we will meet in next class see you